Hi, this is the Texas Weekly Newsreel. The federal government shut down, shut down this week with Texas Republicans voting against the deal that put the government back in business and Texas Democrats voting for it. There is some evidence that Washington Republicans are irked with our state's junior senator, but some signs that Texas Republicans remain on the political path he blazed in last year's race for the U.S. Senate. His opponent in that race, David Dewhurst, came out this week for impeachment of President Obama over the embassy deaths in Benghazi, Libya, a position that seemed popular with the Northeast Tarrant County Tea Party group that Dewhurst was talking to, according to a report in the Texas Observer. Governor Rick Perry is off on an international trip that will include stops in Israel and in London. It sounds like the sort of thing a presidential candidate might do, doesn't it? And he's the voice of a new national ad touting the wisdom of Republican governors in governance. It's sort of a continuation of his campaign that started with the book Fed Up a couple of years ago. Tommy Williams' decision to leave the Texas Senate has started a little land rush. Representative Brandon Creighton, who was running for Agriculture Commissioner, has decided to instead run for Williams' seat. Representative Steve Toth is, has announced an exploratory campaign for that seat. A couple of local Republicans, Gordy Bunch and Lewis Guthrie, are also planning to run. No election date has been set. In fact, Williams' resignation letter is not yet on Governor Rick Perry's desk. And meanwhile, former Representative Sid Miller, a Republican from Stephenville, has decided to jump into the Agriculture Commission race where Brandon Creighton just decided not to run. And that is this week's newsreel.